Hi everyone, uh, Mikey Bly here. I'm back with Peace by Peace today, and um, yeah, things get weird. Things are getting weird and suspicious and a little bit paranoia inducing. Came upon a trapdoor with a padlock on it. A padlock that Shelley apparently put on there. And both the twins seemed to remember, but uh, Shelley didn't. Raph was very keen on not going down there. Ed was very keen on going down there. I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm very suspicious that something terrible happened. But just don't know what yet. But it's the evening now. And darkness has enveloped the starless sky. Ed had left a couple of hours prior. Leaving Shelley alone to figure out this padlock puzzle. He tried helping her find the missing tape, but to no avail. Oh yes, um, Shelley put um, a clue to the combination for the lock on the trapdoor in a tape, but they can't find the tape. You can keep searching without me. That's what he said before he left. Oh good, thanks for the update on what he clearly obviously would have said. I can't imagine him just saying, never mind the tape, forget about it. Who needs adventure and mystery anyway? It's all boring. He obviously said, please find the tape and please unlock the padlock and please let's see what's in the basement. I'm starting to think this is hopeless. Don't give up so easily, Shelley. That's a defeatist attitude. That tape is ten years old and we just moved back into this house. I guess that is a good point. There's a definite possibility here that... <laughs> the previous, the people who were living in the house while we were here could have just thrown the tape away, I guess. There's no way it could have survived. Mom? Shelly saw her mom in the dining room, holding a huge box of junk. Oh! How convenient. Perchance, are there some tapes on there? In that box, I mean. Possibly, perchance, maybe? Oh, hi, sweetie. I was just doing a little spring cleaning, and boy, howdy, do we have a lot of shit. What is all this stuff? Well, I just told you, it's a whole lot of shit. Just what it looks like. Shit. I mean, junk. <laughs> None of it worth keeping. Oh, shoot. Her mom accidentally dropped the box. Its contents now strewn across the floor. Ooh, yay! Junk hunt. Yeah, let's have a look. I, I love it. I love I love rooting through random boxes and bags of junk and then just discovering stuff that you haven't seen for ages. Oh yeah, I remember this book. <laughs> oh look, we've got half of this half of this um, board game. <laughs> it's always the way. Here, I'll help you clean up. I'll help you clean up. Surreptitiously search for tape while we're in there. Shelley dropped to her knees, gathering the various pieces of junk. Huh? There was a cassette tape among them. Of course there was. That was predictable and obvious and predictably obvious. This... She turned it over to analyse the track list. This is my tape of classical music. It's Dad's 80s mega mix. Oh, bloody Dad and your flock of seagulls obsession. <gasps> Mom, can I keep this? Oh, wait, it is my tape. I mean, Shelly's tape. Shelly, Shelly, I'm the narrator. I'm the narrator. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting I'm the narrator. I keep trying to morph myself into Shelly instead of the narrator. Uh, sure. It's my tape. I've been looking all over through this. Okay, if it's yours, you can keep it. I'm not going to take your property away from you. I'm just going to back away slowly now. But give me the rest of the crap, okay? I don't, we don't need any more hoarding. Let, 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 let's chuck some stuff out. Yeah, of course, honey. If it's yours. Let me check, does that have your name on it? Thanks, Mom! No problem. Shelly jumped up from the floor, taking off to her bedroom. Cool. So, do we have to figure out this padlock clue, or is it just... I found it! I really found it! Or is it just provided to us? <laughs> Shelly fell onto her back, on her bed in a fit of laughter, hugging the cassette close to her chest. Now 
Ed and I can solve this mystery. Can you though? What if Raph doesn't want you to solve it? I've got a bad feeling that Raph's going to try his best to scupper those plans. Okay. Cool. Okay, I think that's enough practice for today. Is this the same evening? Shelley rose from her seat and stretched, thinking about the padlock and the puzzle she found in the cassette. Did she figure the puzzle out, though, or...? I wonder if the twins are coming today. Oh, this must be the day after them. What time of day is it? It's kind of hard to tell. It's very murky. And I doubt they will. After all, Dad doesn't have a meeting with their father today. They're not... they're not chained to him. I'm sure they can do things of their own volition. I would hope, anyway. In fact, neither of her parents were home at the moment. So if their dad did drop by, he'd just be wasting his time anyway. That's perfect time for the twins to come then, because my parents aren't going to be in the way of our adventure. Of their adventure, not our adventure. I really desperately just want to be part of the group, okay? I'm sick of being disembodied voice. Uh, I don't cue. Shelley went to the door and opened it. Good, that's what you generally do when someone knocks on it. Howdy. I knew it. I thought maybe both of them, but I had a feeling it was definitely going to be at least Ed. Yeehaw! Oh my god, what kind of reaction is that? Is it a spontaneous one that you're going to be slightly embarrassed by? <laughs> I trained you well, cowgirl. Oh my god, these two. What am I going to do with them? you here from the wild wild west i mean i thought your father isn't coming today well obviously he couldn't stay away from the mystery now could he i just came to visit and i have an inkling that you were expecting me or was i wrong the narrator was expecting you do i get bonus points for that i just need validation from ed nope you're spot on guess what I found the old cassette! I have a feeling he knows that happened. Ooh, that's great news! Now we can solve the puzzle and open the padlock! I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of scared, but I'm also excited. Yeah! Where's Raph, by the way? Sulkin? Oh. That guy had some... violin rehearsals or something. Or something. Does he play any other instruments that we don't know about? Is he going to show me up playing an oboe as well as the violin? Ah, uh, show Shelly up? <laughs> I'm not Shelly. Stop trying to be Shelly. I'm not Shelly. Anyway, your piano skills have tremendously improved, Shell. I heard you playing earlier. How? He only just knocked on the door and I'd finished playing the piano by that point. What was he doing? Creeping outside the window? Tchaikovsky's Waltz Opus 40, number 2. Is Shelley not going to query the fact that he heard it? I just love waltzes. They make me want to dance all day. Then I hope you don't mind me waltzing into your house tonight. Oh, 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 oh hilarious. Stop, you're killing me. Of course not. Waltz right in. Oh, do I, do I, honestly, uh, Raph, thank, Raph, be thankful you're not here. You'd be grimacing just as much as I am at these terrible puns, although I am totally stealing some of them. Shh, I didn't say that. I don't use bad puns at all, ever, never. Sure enough, Edward didn't hesitate to enter the house. He even rolled around the carpet like a child. I'd totally do that if I had the chance. <laughs> Ed, tone it down. Down just a spidge there, buddy. Ed, I don't mean to sound like Raph or anything, but sometimes I wonder if you're just a kid in the skin of a 20-year-old. I mean, at the same time, what's so bad about that? What do you mean? Well, I mean, you kind of just answered your own question there, Budski. Anyway, would you like some cookies? Something Ooh. warm, perhaps? The rich wants cookies. Cookies and milk, please. Yes. Actually, cookies and a cup of tea would be nice. If you're offering. But you still can't hear me. What am I going to do? 
Why do I have to be <laughs> on the outside of this <laughs> group of people when there's so much nice food been thrown around and mysteries? Edward suddenly sat up, stopping his roll. Nah, I'm good. I'm more interested in the puzzle. Oh, if he's not having any cookies, that means there's spares. Give, chuck them near him. <laughs> Mikey don't get no cookies. He crawled behind the sofa under the windowsill and tugged the padlock, chaining the trapdoor. Pulling it is not the puzzle. If that was the puzzle, then we would have got it off yesterday. How about we solve this mystery first? All right, all right, jeez, you're so adventurous. And you what? You're the one that's been encouraging him. Shelley pulled out the tape recorder and handed it to Edward. But the latter simply stared at it and finally handed it back to the owner. Uh-uh. <laughs> that's, that's Ed's way of saying, no, 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 no. I'm the pretty one. You're the puzzle solver. <laughs> I think you should solve it. After all, it's your puzzle. Well, that's not fun, because what if she instantly remembers what the puzzle solution is? She should give it to somebody who doesn't know anything about it to try and figure it out. Or are you just trying to say that you're too dumb, Ed? Are you too dumb? Are you too stupid? Are you too okay, I've got to stop mocking you. Your hair's too fantastic. I can't. All right, then. Shelley opened the cassette's cover and started solving the puzzle for the four-digit combination. I wanted to solve the puzzle. Narrator doesn't get to do anything. Narrator moody. Narrator bad mood. Narrator gonna do bad job narrating now. Oh, what do I get to solve it? Yay! Narrator happy again. Narrator actually does get to be Shelly. Kind of. But by proxy. Bicycle puzzle. Solve what? Solve... I thought the puzzle was actually like... On the tape itself. You know? Alright, I'll, I'll try. Let me just... Uh, let me just have a look at over all this stuff. And see if I can get any kind of inkling here. I'm putting the waltzes in there, but I'm not sure if the numbers will be in whatever order the waltzes appear in. I don't know what else she would like. There's only three waltzes in here. Tracks two, track four, track seven. Maybe the other one's the air on G-string. Are you bloody kidding me? That was my shot in the dark, guess. And it's because I remembered, I mean, we were literally, she was just, she was literally just going on about how much she loves waltzes. And I remember that the, um, the other one that track nine, she'd mentioned that previously. Um, I think, I think I remember that correctly. I'll take it. The narrator's a genius. The narrator definitely, the narrator definitely deserves a cookie now, Shelley. Dish it over. Oh, you want me to narrate first? Okay, fine. Cookie afterwards though, promise. The padlock let out a satisfying click before finally opening. I cannot- Whoa, you did it! I cannot believe I did it. I did it! I'm over the moon with myself. I honestly thought I was going to be stumped for bloody hours there. Edward ruffled Shelley's hair. Great job, Shelley. I knew you could do it. Now we get to go into the basement. <laughs> yeah! Now let's go! Into the deep dark. <laughs> I'm sorry, Noretta's trying not to get too creepy here. Is there a light down here? What the? Does he know? Does he have a bad feeling? Is it that twin connection? Raphael lowered his violin and stared at the snapped string. Oh. <laughs> oh. Interesting timing on that happening. Damn it, again? I thought I just replaced it last month. How long do you think strings last? Actually, I can't speak for violins. I can only speak for guitar strings, of which I snapped many. He suddenly had a sickening nausea rising in his stomach, followed by goosebumps crawling on his skin. Oh, there is a twin connection. I have a bad feeling about this. Is that a Star Wars reference? Is that a Star Wars reference? Raphael quickly packed his bag and bolted out of the room. 
He knows. He knows. Narrator will promise to keep quiet if Narrator yeah, gets cookies. Go. Yes, I will keep going about the cookies. You can't silence me about the cookies. Whoa, was there always a shady tunnel under this house? I guess so. Otherwise, how could we have padlocked it? We. Huh. Otherwise, how could you have padlocked it off when you were a kid? Edward took a few steps down the stairs, gawking around in awe. Shelley, on the other hand, felt an eerie sensation as cold air brushed her skin, causing shivers to run down her spine. Sorry, that's just me. Am I, am I a bit close? I'll take a couple steps back. What's the matter with you? Aren't you coming? Ooh, echoey. Fun. I'm scared. Yeah, it's not too pretty. Although it does have lights. That's something. Edward started to laugh, but soon stopped when he noticed Shelley's genuinely frightened face. Yeah, it's a creepy underground tunnel that we forgot about. I'd be pretty creeped out too. What's the deal with this? His expression softened, walking back up the steps. You'll be fine. I'm right here. Edward smiled, offering his hand. After you! He just throws it out the stairs. <laughs> Sorry, my headphone wires in the way. I got new... Okay. A little bit of context here. I'm having to get you to a slightly new layout here because I've got some new speakers down here. Uh, my previous speakers had like a, a central headphone slot that I could put in. It had speaker here, speaker over here, and then a plug in the middle that I could plug into, which was the volume control. Um, I got rid of them because they had a bass speaker under the desk and I was just sick. I, just, I was just too many wires. It was such a mess. So I got new speakers. Now the headphone slot is over here on this side. So the headphone wire is right in my where I use my mouse. So it might take me a while to remember that that's the fact and I might actually throw the wire up a few times now and again. So just a heads up. If you see a random wire flying in front of my eyes, it's just my headphones. <clears throat> Anywho. You're right. I guess there's nothing to worry about when you're here. What if he's the problem? What if he's the reason you locked the basement? Shelley smiled and reached out for his hand. No, don't! It's a trap! Shelley hesitated, pulling her hand away. Ho, ho, ho! Was that Raph's voice? I'm sorry, I, it was kind of like it passed by, and I was just like, it's a dude's voice, and I'm like, is it Ed or is it Raph? Is it like real Ed? Is this a fake Ed? Is it Raph doing some weird, bloody... Shining madness? What's going on? Shelly? Hi. Run, run, run. Get out. Slam the door behind you and lock him in. I can't. I think it's better if we go back, Ed. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, everyone's got bad feelings. Great. Everyone's got a little bit of Obi-Wan in them today. Shell. Shelly shut her eyes, suddenly feeling tremendously terrified. There's some trauma here. Something bad happened. Hands gripped her shoulder. I don't understand. Huh? The grip on her shoulders suddenly tightened to a point where his nails dug into her flesh. Oh, it! What's happening? Ah! What are you? Stop being a sissy and get down here! Oh no, oh no, no! <laughs> Don't you wish to know what happened? Human? What? Wait a second. It is a fake head. Or oh, was he always a demon? Or oh, whatever the hell he is. I don't know what he is. What is he? What's going on? Help! Narrator's scared. Narrator doesn't know what to do. N Narrator called for help? Help? Any. somebody? <laughs> no one can hear me. What are you doing? Let go of me! <laughs> oh, Shelly. You're a fool for trusting me. <laughs> Ed, I don't understand. Do I really need to spell it out for you? Yes, please. Narita is also confused. Narita needs a little bit of clarification on what's going on here. Your little Edward is dead! I gobbled him up ten years ago! Ah, oh, oh, 
10 years ago. Hmm, interesting that. That's when we left. Shelly, get out of the way! Hi. <laughs> 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 Is that... So, did Raph not know? Did Raph know? Did... What's going on? Did Raph just think that Ed was suddenly a jerk? Or something? Or is... What's going on? And now I'll gobble you up too! You'd be a bit more intimidating if you didn't use kind of like kid story terminology like gobble, you know? Let me pack that in a bit and you might be a teeny bit scarier. Free narrator tip for you. Oh, Raph's come to save the day, uh, I hope. R Raph? Stay where you are, I'm coming to get you. Did... <laughs> Other annoying twin is here. The door suddenly closed by itself, followed by the sound of a lock clicking. Oh no. He, he, he can harness the force too? <laughs> We're screwed. What? The door just... Yeah, we know Raph. Well done. If you got here like five minutes earlier. Jelly! You're coming with me! Oh joy. Edward grabbed Shelly and threw her deep into the tunnel. Oh my god, he literally did end up throwing her down the stairs. <coughs> well, call it. I guess. Man, I did call him the evil one, didn't I? Shelly! Shelly! It's okay. I know the combination to the lock. Raph, can you hear the narrator? I can tell you the combination. I'm, I'm guessing that it wasn't the padlock that's keeping it shut this time. Raphael ran to the closed trapdoor, banging on it desperately. Damn it, it's locked! What's the combination? Oh, I can tell you this. He continued banging on it, yelling with all his might, tears of anger and regret welling in his eyes. Did he know? Did he know? How could he have... He can't have known. He wouldn't have just hung around with demon version of Ed for ten years, would he? Shelly! No. I... I can't. Or did he know and just got too scared to confront what really happened? I can't lose you too! So he did know? Why was he just, uh, just shrugging off the other Ed then if he knew it wasn't the real Ed? I don't understand. What's the deal? <laughs> oh, well, this is nice. Shelly was thrown to the cold floor, but when she tried to stand up, she found her hands brushing against something dry and scaly like crimson paint. It took her a few moments to realize that it was dried blood. And it wasn't just the floor. The entire room, the walls, the ceiling and the stairs were all painted with blood. But whose? I don't know, but Narrator wants to go back to where Raph is, please. Narrator doesn't want to be in basement no more. Shelly, you, you, you're good. You're fine. You'll figure a way out. I'm just going to go and get some of those cookies because you won't be eating them either, right? And Raph doesn't really like sweet stuff, so does that mean I can have all the cookies? No, it can't be. <sighs> Shelly shook her head, refusing to think anymore. Probably for the best, just switch your brain off. It was only then she noticed the awful putrid order. Ooh, as there dead things down here. Her breath hitched when she saw something like a pile of rotten flesh lying at the corner of the room. Well, he needs his snacks. Did he? Oh, shoot. The people that were living here before. He ate them too. When you were joking about how the previous tenants ran off. They didn't run off, they were devoured. How many other tenants were there? How many times did people cut and cut and run? That unidentifiable clump she saw was undoubtedly a corpse. The corpse of a ten-year-old boy. Her stomach churned, acid building up in her esophagus. Yeah, don't 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 puke. That'll, that'll make it even more disgusting down here. It's bad enough. 
She felt like vomit. No, please don't. <laughs> Did you call me? Not you. The 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 dead decaying one over there. Wait, how can how can it still be just rotten flesh after ten years? After ten years, it would have gone. It would have just <laughs> nothing left. Just be bones after ten years, surely. I mean, even in certain conditions, there's no way a body could survive ten years. You're not Ed. But yeah, we yeah uh, we 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 established that now. I think. Just realized that now, did ya? No, realized it when you yelled that you killed the real Ed at us. That's probably when we realized it. <laughs> the stranger Shelly called Ed reached his arm out and clutched Shelly's neck. <laughs> Shelly instinctively shut her eyes as then her nails dug into the boy's cold arm. But no matter how hard she struggled, the grip on her neck wouldn't loosen. Instead, it tightened with every second. Shelley suddenly saw something slithering under Edward's skin. His flesh bubbled as if scalded, and his veins turned black like coal. This is Ed. This thing was never him. Oh, I don't think he's gonna do that. <laughs> Rest assured, Shelley. I will. Once I rip your throat out! The best ending to this game would be if Raph figures out the combination, comes running down the stairs, and kills this imposter Ed with his violin bow. Straight through the eyeball. <laughs> Tears now started to flow freely from Shelley's eyes. What's this? <laughs> the poor human is crying. How awful. And how tragic it is that you forgot about your own friend's demise. This kind of sad. Ed. <laughs> Sorry. Is it flashback time? Ah. It's flashback time. I think we haven't got tons of the game left, but I'm gonna stop now anyway. Because I want to just, 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 just leave things on a little bit of a knife edge before we finish this. Because I'm a complete bastard. And I'm the narrator. And I can do things as I please. So, um, yeah, I'm going to leave you on tenterhooks. But this is also a fantastic time. If you haven't played this game yourselves yet and want to, to see the ending without... Like, before I get to it. This is it. This is, this is the best time for you to do it. So the link to the game is in the description below and boy howdy did this take a turn i knew there was something horrible gonna happen as soon as we went down to that bloody basement i just knew it it was so predictable but hey well i know i'm just the narrator right okay um before you go don't forget to want the like button and the subscribe button and ring ling ding the notification bell if you feel so inclined to do so, of course. I, I don't force people into these things. Um, if you have any other game recommendations for me, I just want to have a bit of a general chit chat and chin wag and whatever, you can have at it in the comments below or, or you can catch me on social media. So, I am, I've been Mikey Bly. I hope you all have yourselves a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, or night, and I will see you all next time around. Bye for now.